For the past two years, Eastern Iowans have been waiting for answers about who kidnapped and killed two Evansdale cousins. Hunters discovered the bodies of Lyra Cook and Elizabeth Collins in rural Bremer County in December of 2012. Today, Evansdale police held a news conference to discuss their new focus. And CBS2 News reporter Mugo Odigwe is here to explain. Mugo? Yes, yeah, Scott, we're coming on almost three years now and still no leads on finding out who killed the girls. Now authorities are refocusing their attention on the Seven Bridges Wildlife Area, the place where the girls' bodies were found. She always had a smile on her face, even when she was in trouble. For Drew Collins, memories of his daughter Elizabeth are forever etched in his mind. She was sweet. She loved animals. She loved sports. But there's another memory he'd also like to have, one where the killer of his daughter and niece is found. We want some closure, find out who did it, and they need to be punished. Drew says waiting for that to happen is a constant battle. What this person has done to us is, you know, completely wrecked our life and we just don't want to see it happen to another family. Neither do local and state authorities. The case is an open and very active investigation. On Tuesday morning they held a press conference to let everyone know about their new focus in the investigation. We need to know who is familiar with that Seven Bridges area and very comfortable with that area. The Seven Bridges Wildlife Area spans 125 acres and can be hard to navigate for someone who isn't familiar. Chief Smock wants anyone who knows the area or knows someone who does to talk to them. He says any information they can gather from those people may be the key to cracking the case. I have little doubt that eventually this case will be solved. Um, I, I truly believe we're waiting for one phone call. Drew is hoping the determination from investigators will soon help put the killer behind bars. They're going to keep looking for you till they get you. Your time is up. It's coming. Investigators have asked CBS 2 News to share this tip line number with our viewers. If you have any information or are familiar with the Seven Bridges area, please call the number on your screen. And Scott will have that number on our website as well. Considering the past, I'm certain they'll probably get a number of tips. We Thank hope you, so. Yep.